Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil anbiya wal mursalin sayidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi washabbi ajmain. Um, anak-anak sekalian assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, saya percaya uh, you all ni dari pelbagai fakulti dan pelbagai tahun. Ya eh? Farmasi, medicine lagi fakulti apa lagi ada? Foundation Dosh Okey, bagus Ada lagi yang saya tak sebut? Hmm, tak apalah, yang lain yang saya tak sebut tu Feel that you are part of our big family ya? Alhamdulillah dalam siri ini Saya pun lupa sepatutnya saya catatkan Bila saya mula terlibat dalam siri ini Sudah pasti tahun lepas Tapi mungkin tahun sebelumnya dan Wallahualam mungkin sebelumnya Ya Um, saya nak revive um, Nak um, Review dan revive uh, Topik yang saya beri Dan dan topik yang saya beri ini Dalam siri uh, Al-Quran the, the The guidance And the healing Ini uh, base seperti yang kita lihat uh, Dalam Al-Quran tadi yang saya tunjuk kecil sikit ya. Jom jumpa. <coughs> Terima kasih. Jadi ini um, dari inilah siri yang saya insya-Allah tahun ni mungkin sebulan sekali ke. Um, siri ini dah mungkin sambung panjang umur sihat tahun depan insya-Allah ya. Kita pun dah tinggal 2 bulan lagi untuk tahun ni. Uh, dalam dalam ini fusilat eh? cuba catatkan uh, fusilat uh, surah 41 ayat 44 ada satu dua kursi eh? ke depan kalau nak, nak ke depan boleh ni ke depan boleh ke depan uh, yang big big ni kita letak big tempat lain Jadi bunyi teks bahasa Arabnya Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Halus sikit Dulu saya suka anak kecil-kecil ni Sekarang ni dah Tak apa saya cuba Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Walau ja'alnahu Qur'anan jamian Laqalu Laula fussilat Ayatuhu A'jamiyun Wa'arabi Qul huwa lilladhina amanu hudan wa shifa'u Walladhina la yu'minuna fi adhanihim Wakrum wa huwa alayhim Wa huwa alayhim aman ula'ika yunadawna min makanim ba'id Masyarakatullah al-Azim Okay, terima kasih Itulah maksud ini dalam bahasa Inggeris You can see that in English Had we send this as a Quran in the language other than Arabic they would have said they itu orang kafir orang yang mengurangi Rasul Salam yang yang menyoalkan kujudan Allah dan seterusnya eh? quote-unquote why are not why are not its verses explained in detail nah, itulah fusilat explained in detail eh? <coughs> What a book not in Arabic and a messenger in Arab. Jadi mereka akan tanya lah. Kalau bukan bahasa Arab, dia akan tanya. Dan bahasa Arab pun dibuat kacau juga. Nah, ini orang yang tidak beriman, orang yang uh, sentiasa uh, uh, menyangsikan kewujudan Allah dan kerasulan uh, Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Jadi di sini kul, uh, kul, uh, Quran sebut, Allah sebut. Eh? Kul, kul maknanya wahai Muhammad, wahai Rasul, wahai Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Huwa lilladina amanu hudan wa shifa'u. Ya, jadi di sini dia kata huwa, huwa it, it, huwa it lelaki. Kalau heya it perempuan. 
yeah, uh, uh, Mu'annas ini Mudhakar uh, It is a guide Qul huwa lilladhina amanu hudan wa shifa'un Dan hingga akhir ayat yeah. um, Yang penting di sini Ia adalah huda Guidance Shifa uh, Healing Penawar Ya, huda dan penawar uh, Petunjuk dan penawar Bagi mereka yang beriman Dan seterusnya And for those who believe not ya, Ini disebut Dikontrakan Dikontraskan dengan orang yang tidak beriman uh, And for those who believe not There is a deafness in their ears And it is blindness in their eyes They are as it were being called From a place far distant jadi seolah-olah mereka dipanggil di tempat yang jauh. Jauh tu tak tak jelas. Ya? Jadi ini adalah uh, dalam dalam uh, ayat ini, kita dapati banyak hikmah. Uh, banyak um, uh, petunjuk di sini sebenarnya. Walaupun disebut uh, Al-Quran, itu dia adalah huda dan syifa. Tapi sebenarnya banyak hikmah kita boleh dapat. Cuba kita fikirkan, cuba kita bayangkan apa dia hikmah yang kita boleh dapat. Antaranya ini adalah asas akidah kita sebagai pengamal perubatan, sebagai orang yang terlibat dalam bidang perubatan, medical sciences, sains perubatan, kalau bahasa Indonesia sains kedokteran, ya kita tahu bahawa Al-Quran itu dia petunjuk dan penawar. Satu lagi dalam surah lain, ayat lain. Ini kena cek. Lah. Tapi sekarang nak cek senang. Cuba kita tengok ya. Wa idha maritu fahuwa yashfin. Boleh cek tak? Cuba google. Berarti tak boleh buat. Senang ya. Wa idha maritu fahuwa yashfin. <coughs> Ini ditransliterasikan. W A W I D Z A ataupun I D H A I D Z A Malindo Malaysia Indonesia. Kalau I D H A International English Translation Translation of the Arabic Translation bukan translation Translation Translitrasi. Can you get it? W I D A Maritu Fahu Yashfin dari mana? Ini kata kata Nabi Ibrahim alaihissalam. Ha, jumpa Syu'ara eh? Ya Ayat 80 80 bagus Kan You, you google tadi kan uh, Guna transliteration You see your generation is so easy When I was young as you Masa saya medical student 45 years ago 40 years ago Seksa kena buka Kita panggil mu'jam eh? Mu'jam Bahasa kitab kuning tu Dia punya tulisan pun Kelam-kelam-kelam Jelas kelam kan Ha, jadi kita kena cari Kalau wa'idah maritu fahuwa yashfin Kita carilah uh, yashfin uh, um, um, ma, apa, uh, um, Maritu Marat ha, Cari mim 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 rada ah, Jumpa Lepas tu tengok um, uh, Ada amrad Amrad kalbi lah kalbi. Um, Ada yang marat Ada yang maritu ha, Baru jumpa Ini senang ya Tak payah guna Teks bahasa Arab pun Kita boleh jumpa dah Ini namanya penggunaan transliterasi The transliteration of the Arabic into English Ataupun into Malay Jadi yang 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 didapati guna Transliterasi bahasa Melayu ke bahasa bahasa Inggeris? Bahasa Melayu Maksudnya wa'idha maritu Wa'idha W-A I that I D Z eh Okey, jadi syuara ya. Asyuara, asyuara tu maknanya para penyair. Ya, yeah, the poets bahasa Inggerisnya. Syuara. Ayatnya ayat 80. Baik. <coughs> Ini lagi kuat menjadi asas kepada akidah kita pengamal-pengamal perubatan. Pengamal perubatan masuklah dosh, nosh, apa mosh, kan okay, eh? um, masters mosh lah. Dosh, diploma ya tak? Degree, uh, diploma uh, Pharmacy, medicine, termasuk Kerana yang kita lakukan usaha dan doa kita Usaha fizikal kita 
usaha pemikiran kita, usaha doa kita untuk merawat manusia tetapi wa idza maritu fa huwa yashfin. Dan bila aku sakit dialah me apa? menyembuhkanku. Dalam menyembuhkan. Ini kata-kata Nabi Ibrahim alaihi salam. Nah, ini asas. Asas sebab itu kita tinggi belajar macam mana pun, expert macam mana pun, training hebat macam mana pun, jangan kita angkuh sekali-kali angkuh. Ya. Saya teringat masa saya training pakar dulu, exactly 30 years ago, <coughs> my superior lah, dia kata, eh tak boleh, tak boleh, kita tak boleh orang lain rawat sakit kita. Nanti kalau orang lain rawat pesakit kita, pesakit itu baik, nanti orang kata dia yang baikkan, bukan kita baikkan. Jadi saya masa itu, ini 30 tahun dulu lah, you all tak lahir lagi kan. Jadi saya fikir-fikir ini, my, bo- my boss ni, saya banyak boss lah, pasal kita pergi from one department to another kan, posting-posting, post graduate. Bukan psychiatry saja, kita ada macam-macam, oncology, liaison psychiatry, ada medicine, ada... Neurology, so one of them Kata ni tak jelas ni, tak jelas apa, tak jelas akidah Bahaya akidah tu, bahaya pemahaman itu Boleh melanggar akidah Ini kita boleh panggil maksud syirik khafi Syirik tersembunyi Malahan kalau takabur angkuh, dia dah, dah jelas dah jelas lah ya? Sebab so, kita tidak ada kuasa sikit pun untuk me, uh, menyehatkan manusia Tidak ada, kita hanya sebagai wasail Sebagai Uh, a means a means uh, wasail means ya yeah. bahasa inggris ni pelik tu satu pun means banyak pun means kalau kita kata mean mean statistic pula kalau kita kata mean another meaning of mean tak ada s tu maknanya apa apa siapa tahu ha <laughs> oh, jahat oh he's mean dia jahat ya yeah. uh, ni saya ajar bahasa inggris sikit lah so I'll teach you a little bit of english So um, uh, we we as um, we as the um, the healer is not the ultimate healer. We are just a means. Yeah, one of the means. We are a means. We are just the instrument. Yeah, bet, better word be I like the word instrument. Uh, we are just instruments on the way. Uh, towards the patient's well-being, uh, we are instruments. Okay, now about means tadi ada means ada mean. Okay, again 80% 70% of Malaysians, Malays especially, they salah guna mean tadi uh, means. Just now I said we are just a means. Boleh. But we are means boleh juga, but instruments better. Lah. Itu itu yang betul, yang tepat. Ya. But means can be <coughs> these are means towards the well-being of the patient. Maknanya wasail tadi. Wasila satu wasail banyak plural uh, jamak. Okay. There is a sentence that Malaysian Malays especially. Termasuk Malaysian Chinese apa tu yang yang tak berapa pandai bahasa Inggeris use this word incorrectly, wrongly. Uh, saya pun kena kena 100% pasti ni kan? Yeah. I come, I uh, <coughs> um, I'm I'm going to have. Um, Um, on a Friday night, I'm leaving for Kota Baru. That, that's mean. That's mean. I have to leave the campus by late afternoon. Salah. It should be. That means. Kan? Kalau that's mean. Uh, dia uh, mana jahat <laughs> kan eh? uh. i notice even pakar my ex student pakar pakar my student pakar yang bagus pun tentang ini dia 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 silap so so guna istilah 
<laughs> uh, that means that means prasatu that those events mean uh, that means uh, um, uh, that means I've got to leave the campus by six o'clock late afternoon because I've got to take a bus at 8 p.m. Uh, in in a bandar tasik selatan katakan. Wah, tak? Kau tak faham angkat tangan Apa apa cerita tafsir pergi English pula kan? Ha, ha, ha. Ha, itu bonus sama dia. Ha, bonus. Ha. That means. Ha, tapi kita kata those events that I experience at CUMS in the last two years have enlightened my life. Uh, those and uh, those events mean a lot to me. Ah, bau mean. Eh? <laughs> those events mean a lot to me because they have enlightened my life in the last two years at CUMS. Ini bonus semuanya. Ya, tak ada ustaz saja tafsir aja English. Tak ada, tak ada. Cari lah dari dari Putrajaya sampai ke Bandar Tasik Selatan. Tak ada. Alright, eh? ha, jadi jadi yang penting saya nak tekankan di sini ialah huda wa syifa yang tadi kita pat, kita padukan dengan wa idza maritu fa wa yashfin ia menetapkan akidah kita. It reinforces our uh, our tie to the belief to the complete belief in the ultimate healer who heals all illnesses and with these two ay- ayat one ayah two bahasa apa apa ke satu ayah ke dua ayat tain ke banyak ayat ya yeah? so this uh, these verses reinforce and remind us uh, of the absolute power of the ultimate healer that is Allah wa ta'ala and that that makes us that makes us totally um, humble and removes any trace of arrogance in our heart. Eh? Arrogance ni tak tak kabur. Satu lagi kibria. Ya, yeah, kibria. Boleh, ini revision lah. Kasi, oh, ada yang pernah dengar saya cakap begini lah. Pembahatan ni tak ada modal lain cakap ni. No, some of you have not heard what about this. As I said, I'm 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 reviewing and refreshing my approach in Tafsir. Uh, the the topic will be always around Huda wa syifa. Kita boleh pergi kepada sirah nanti. Kita boleh pergi kepada tasawuf nanti. InsyaAllah kita boleh pergi kepada fiqh nanti. Tapi oleh kerana uh, ini adalah Medical Science University College, let's have this as a main uh, a theme and and we can expand it. InsyaAllah. Right. Um, I'll, I'll just show you one more ayah. And then I'll show you hadith. And this hadith, many of you have seen it, but kita revise. Then kita discuss because we're going to stop at nine o'clock. Yeah, uh, I don't want to spoil your uh, 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 your night by to uh, talking too much into the night. Kalau tak paham apa cakap, angkat tangan tau. Jangan malu, Pak Cik, uh, uh, Prof, uh, uh, Prof, apa ni saya tak faham lah. Cakap Melayu lah, cakap, uh, eh, cakap Melayu saya tak faham English. No problem. So what I'm going to do? I speak in both languages. With occasional Arabic, yeah. <coughs> I insist that you speak basically good English. I insist. Tahu oh, insist. Maknanya hampir hampir maksa lah. Huh? Bukan advice lah. Tak ada advice. Saya nasihatkan kalian mana tak mau tak mau advice. I insist. When you come to this place, your mind must always be international. Yeah, some of you dari kampung mana, cukup mana, 
Pak cik uh, uh, prof uh, saya tak reti lah you know this tak tahu bahasa inggris ni i've heard in my life a few times when i was in ukm uh, doctors graduate pandai belajar tapi dia cakap dengan staff kita the nurses eh ah, tak reti ana buat post graduate ni maksud ah, ah, tak tahu boleh survive ke tidak kenapa i i english ni bahasa inggris ni tak reti lah survive juga pas juga jadi pakar juga sekarang nak pencen dah Uh, super pakar lah, consultant, senior consultant Terpaksa <coughs> Many years ago Around 2008 uh, Around 2008-2009 uh, Ada one le Junior lecturer yeah. Tanya saya, Prof boleh tak ajar bahasa Melayu? Tak boleh kata Saya sayang bahasa Melayu Alhamdulillah, I can write well in, in Malay yeah. Saya boleh tulis dengan baik bahasa Melayu Saya sayang bahasa saya tapi, we must think international. Uh, I see among you, uh, one of these days, eh, I see among you, ini sebuah doa tu. Uh, dua kelompok manusia. Satu je, uh, yang jadi politician yang baik. Politician yang baik. Good politicians. Who can speak in public. And I pray to Allah Ta'ala that maybe one of you from CSMS tak kira mana-mana lah. Tahun berapa ke, junior yang tak nak masuk lagi ke, jadi Prime Minister of Malaysia. Atau Health Minister. Menteri Kesihatan Atau Deputi Menteri Kesihatan Yang tak buat kerja banyak ya? uh, uh, um, uh, Ataupun DG of Health DG of Health uh, Kami yang dari Mesir dulu Our, our peers Our peers mana dari tahun 70 70 sampai 78 uh, Itu grup kami Lepas tu tak ada Lama tak ada kemudian baru datang Lepas belas puluh tahun lepas tu baru datang Ramai balik That group 8 tahun Ada tiga orang Deputi DG Dah pencen semualah Deputy DG of Health Tiga orang, tak sampai DG lah Tiga orang yeah. uh, Ni cerita zaman dulu kala lah Tahun 70-an eh. <coughs> So, uh, back to this I'm, I insist that you start uh, uh, Thinking in English, reading in English And in my class Saya beri hadiah my class um, Apart from the Dua ringgit, empat ringgit Saya beri hadiah tu, I give Reader's Digest So baca And now it's so easy, so easy, uh, so easy. You you baca Quran, eh? hafaz Quran, masya Allah, uh, hadis, and then you read. You know, semua dalam ni kan, uh, semua dalam ni. Uh, you, you read. Go to a good website and read in English, and try to to. And among your lecturers, there are good speakers in English. Tapi among your lecturers ada yang tak not good English lah, ya. Yeah? Uh, so yang good ones you. you You, you you must try You must Bukan nasihat lah <laughs> Wajib Try to follow the style of good English Proper English That That's why Students, Malaysian students who study abroad Many of them speak good English Because yang cakap tu orang putih cakap English And they tak ada, tak ada mistake no, no basic mistakes tak ada Pasal dia tak ada tongue Mother, mother tongue Kan Kan uh, Mother tongue lah Betul lah, mother tongue lah hmm. mother, mother English ya? Tak, ini bonus sebenarnya Bukan bonus, ini basic And Ini 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 masalah Malaysia And When you you have You can speak basically good English Your other Malaysians Non-Malays non They will respect you more Uh, you may protest uh, bahasa Melayu adalah bahasa Malaysia adalah bahasa bahasa uh, apa rasmi apa oh, okay can say that i agree a thousand percent but i'm trying to say that you speak two languages if not three iaitu bahasa Melayu bahasa Inggeris bahasa Arab tiga dan Mandarin itu bonus ada dari sekolah Cina tu lagi hebat lah kan ada kawan-kawan yang ada sekolah Cina kan seorang dua orang eh? oh itu hebat itu boleh Mandarin okay <coughs> now Uh, this is another of my favorite ayah verse. Afalam yasiru fil aldi fatakuna lahum qulubu ya'kiluna biha. Of course you don't have to write. You just ambil yang bawah tu jelah. Ha eh, tengok you are panjang tulis kan. Tak apa benda tu tulis. Ambil bawah tu. Uh, surah 22 46 Al-Hajj. Ya. Yeah. Uh, Afalam yasiru fil aldi fatakuna lahum qulubu ya'kiluna biha aw adhanu yasma'una biha. Fa innaha la ta'mal absaru walakin ta'mal qulubu allati 
uh, Al-Qulubu Lati Fisudur Itu makna dia Jadi Why is this one of my favorite Kita sayang semua ayat Quran Kita sayang Itu hakikatnya Tapi of course Orang seperti saya yang tidak, tidak hafiz Ataupun I cannot be hafizah lah kan Tidak, tidak hafiz ya, Jadi Ada ayat-ayat yang very close to me All these decades And this is one of them Because As you can see This uh, Oh tak keluar Tak apa Uh, you, you see that? Kulubu ya'kiluna biha Kulub ya'kiluna biha Kulub dari kalbu Kulub banyak kalbu yeah? Hearts And hearts that understand You can see that? And have hearts by which to reason uh, To reason Because akal to reasoning is a faculty of reasoning Al-aqal Al-aqlu is the faculty of reasoning Faculty maknanya kemampuan, <coughs> keupayaan untuk reason out. Buruk baik. Bila kata Al-Furqan, Al-Furqan itu adalah, uh, Al-Furqan itu adalah dari kemampuan akal. Al-Furqan untuk bezakan banal hak wal batil. Ya, banal hak wal batil itu, uh, uh, kita kata Al-Furqan, dia mesti dari akal. Tapi di sini, they join. Kalbu itu boleh berfikir, boleh beri reasoning. Kalbu itu dengan akal menjadi satu. Ya, ulama banyaklah bincang tentang kalbu dengan akal. They, they, for centuries, ulama have discussed this. But my simple understanding of kalbu dengan akal ni, um, akal ini Which is, is the uh, faculty of reasoning as I said the heart the heart the heart the, the spiritual heart I'm not talking about the physical heart the, the spiritual heart is the uh, means to to feel internally to feel internally That means if you, when you hear my uh, my um, presentation, you think. When you say think, kita tunjuk otak kita, itu okay. And when you say uh, heart, you you show your upper thorax, your thorax, your breast, which is not exact actually. Kalau yang emotion tu dekat limbic system semua, pun in the brain, this heart, physical heart. It's just pumping the blood, and there's no proof all these centuries to show that the heart is the seat of emotion, but it is more symbolical. Yeah. Uh, jadi kita ada cognition, ada emotion, so these two combined. From what I understand, these two combined in this uh, in this ayah. Um, when does your feeling becomes one with? Your thinking. When does your thinking becomes one with your feeling? Bila kita insaf. Eh? Bila kita insaf, insaf tengok satu keadaan. For example, uh, during disasters, during um, uh, sad events, unfortunate events, peristiwa-peristiwa yang yang apa yang um, menyusahkan manusia contohnya, kita lihat, kita dengar, kita kita fikir. Maka uh, kita insaf. For example, people in Palestine, the Palestinians, you just don't see and think. You feel, uh, you feel, uh, you 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 feel the suffering. Then, only then, when you feel the suffering, kita insaf. <coughs> the thinking and feeling becomes one, become one. Only then will you be able to contribute towards the. Palestinian cause. Only then will you be going out of your way to help the Palestinians in ways that you can do from here, or you go and join uh, uh, missions to go into Palestine, for example. Yeah, uh, our experiences yang dah masuk ke Palestine, masuk ke Gaza khususnya, 
Bila masuk tu keluar nak masuk balik nak tolong. Why? Because it affects both the thinking and the feeling. Both the akal and the kalb. Uh, this is my understanding. Of course, setakat ini bila saya sampaikan ni di mengata tempat dalam dunia ni, Alhamdulillah, dari Australia sampai ke sampai ke Gaza, sampai ke UK, sampai ke Mesir, tak ada orang yang violently oppose this. Yeah? Uh, di depan ulama-ulama pun. Karena istilah ni istilah yang boleh kita tafsirkan. <coughs> And, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> penafsiran saya adalah based on again whatever scientific uh, knowledge that we have but don't forget when we base our penafsiran on science it can change because science is not tetap yeah not tetap well, for example a thousand years ago or ataupun 2000 years, years ago during the greek uh, the the, the uh, during the greek civilization It was a thought that women who experience uh, abnormal behavior, it was due to the movement of the uterus in their abdomen. That's why the word hysteria. From the word hist. Hist, H-Y-S-T, means uterus, rahim. Yeah? Uh, ada hadith yang cukup indah tentang rahim ni. Yeah, I, I don't have the time to, to, to mention rahim ini ada kaitan dengan uh, selatu rahim yeah, uh, ada ada hadis uh, kursi uh, tentang rahim ini uh, 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 rahamim ini yeah? tapi tak sempat hari ini lah uh, beautiful uh, hadis tentang rahim ini so the word hysteria used by the Greeks at the time of I think Hippocrates but was it gallon? gallon, a gallon is a Roman Galen live around 600 years, 600 years, yeah, 600 700 years after Hippocrates. <coughs> so they got the hysteria because the the womb, the uterus in the abdomen of the woman moving, jadi jadi hysterical. Of course, it's not true, yeah. But one thing to say, concepts change when knowledge expands. Uh, when knowledge becomes uh, developed. Uh, more scientific evidences then concepts change understanding change yeah? but caution uh, we must not always base our hujah uh, our proof based on scientific evidences alone because scientific evidences bring along with them scientific theories scientific theories uh, whatever has been taught say 1000 years ago about certain Uh, diseases are no more accepted now because of changing theories. Ubat-ubat yang masalah allopathy. Ada homopathy sini tak? Ada homopathy tak sini? Homopathy tak ada eh? Tak ada. Uh, yang allopathy itu tak semestinya semua uh, 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 tetap in say 50 years from now. Uh, homopathy ada theory dia. Yeah? And it goes on. So be careful with scientific evidence. Right. Um, Alright, uh, this is one of my favorite hadith. Uh, Alhamdulillah, um, this is the original. Yeah, um, so this is I, I re uh, rewrote it, so it becomes like this. Ini Abdullah bin Amr. Hmm? Uh, ini khusus bagi mereka yang tak belajar dengan saya dalam uh, fakta Madison lah. Eh? Saya tunjuk fakta Madison ni banyak kali dah. Eh, kita tak boleh tak boleh tak boleh jemur dengan hadis tau. Aku jemur lah hadis tu. Prof Hatta tunjuk dah tiga kali dalam hidup aku. Ha, jangan sekali jemur. Ha, kalau jemur Prof Hatta tak apa. Tapi jangan jemur dengan hadis. <coughs> so on the authority of Abdullah bin Amr. Abdullah bin Amr adalah anak Amr al-As. Amr al-As adalah seorang sahabat yang hebat. Amr al-As radiyallahu anhu adalah seorang sahabat yang hebat. Who is Amr al-As? Amr al-As adalah uh, he, he is known and he remains to be known as the What? What is the main achievement here? Amrul Amrul As. Amrul Amrul Al As. Amrul As. He is the opener of Africa for Islam. Yeah. If you go to to Cairo, 
outside Cairo there's a place called Al Fustat ataupun uh, Mesr Mesr Kadima ataupun Mesr Adima Mes, um, there's a mosque masjid uh, Jamia Amrul As and the masjid is well taken care of the last time I was there was I think uh, um, 2009 it was well taken care of compared to when I last saw it uh, 79 or 80 yeah itulah masjid pertama the first mosque in Africa is the mosque of Amrul As ah ni anak dia there are few Abdullah among the very young companions of Rasul Salam respected by the senior companions of Rasul Salam Abdullah bin Am Abdullah bin Mas'ud Abdullah bin Omar Abdullah bin Abbas ini dua dolah yang di, dihormati eh uh, oleh para sahabat yeah. so this is one of them Abdullah bin Am <coughs> the messengers of Rasul Salam said there are four qualities such that if you have them it will not harm you to be deprived of anything in the world yeah. i like to show the the arabic text kesahihan dia yeah. you can see that um qala arba'un idha kunna fika fala alayka ma fataka min ad-dunya hifzu amana hifzu amana simpan amana hifz macam hafizah lah hafiz kan hifz hafizah hafiz hifz uh, uh, quran maknanya simpan quran kan ini hifz amana simpan amana uh, kemudian you can see that uh, was sidqu hadis sidqu hadis sidq benar hadis percakapan yang kita kata hadis Rasulullah SAW itu sebenarnya pada original di segi bahasa pada awalnya ialah maknanya percakapan tapi bila kita apply kepada dalam hidup Rasulullah SAW, it becomes perbuatan, percakapan dan juga sikap Rasulullah SAW. Jadi hadis. Dan di sini satu lagi ialah bayangkan ya, um, hifzu amanah. If you are trustworthy, you you keep the amanah. You take care of the amanah that is being entrusted to you. And then you always speak the truth anybody in the world whether he is agnostic apa benda agnostic macam betul tulis agnostic a g n o s t i c kalau bahasa Melayu c jadi k lah agnostic agnostic ya itu tak apa i hope ada dakwat ni oi ini miracle of allah <laughs> bukan senang ada dakwat ni <coughs> nampak belakang nampak belakang nampak Now this word I want you to know because you are a people from the medical sciences. Gnosis. Gnosis is a Greek word that means knowledge, and it's linked to the Sanskrit word. Orang yang cakap tentang Sanskerta, Sanskrit word bahasa Sanskrit, nyana. Sorry, pegang ini. Tepuk jatuh. If I can recall around 15 years ago I've got a student medical student dekat UKM nama dia Tiru Nyana Dr Tiru Nyana dah graduate lama dah Nyana Nyana means intelligence clever pertaining to knowledge atau Nyana ya yeah? jadi tadi agnostic kan we'll come to that ya yeah? um Gnosis means knowledge. You ask your lecturers this, they don't know. Nampak? Nampak belakang, belakang. Tak nampak ke depan. Eh? You, can, you can come here, belakang depan. Rugi belakang tu. Banyak lapis. 
Oh, my voice banyak lapis dah dah filter. Diagnosis jadi diagnosis. You know what is a diameter? Oh, bahasa Melayu apa yang yang garis lin, apa? Uh, uh, bulatan yang tengah tu bahasa Melayu apa? Huh? Apa dia? Diameter. Ah, diameter lah. Ya. Yeah. Saya ingatkan ada some nice uh, fantastic diameter lah. Macam saya belajar dulu juga sama lah. Ha. So diameter means a line that goes right through. Huh? Right through. This is nosis. Nosis means knowledge that goes right through. So when you see your patient, you diagnose. You do a diagnosis. It means you go right through the patient's illness and understand and make a diagnosis. Yeah? Diagnosis. From the word gnosis. From Greek. Daya pun Greek juga. Yeah? This is what you call etymology. Etymology. Eh, etymology. Bahasa Melayu bahasa Melayu senang aja. ETI ya. Eh? Homologi, ujungnya I juga. The origin of words. Dengan etymology ya, eh? etymology maknanya the the science of ants, insects. Nah, ini etymology. <coughs> so agnostic means what? Agnostic bayangkan tadi gnosis kan jadi tambah a depan agnostic belakangnya tik atau tic siapa tahu 2 ringgit 5 saat agnostic means what tak apalah 4 ringgit lah lagi 3 saat okey habis agnostic an agnostic is a person who doesn't believe that we can know God. An agnostic is a person who does not believe that we can know, know, know this, God. And he can or she can be an atheist. Uh, dia boleh jadi seorang atheist pasal dia tak percaya Tuhan. Eh, dia, 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 aku, no, I don't believe that. Dia kata lah, eh, I don't believe that we can know God. Kita kata we can, kita ada boleh ma'rifatullah. Ma'rifatullah kita boleh, tapi dia kata tak, tak boleh. Jadi dia tak percaya Tuhan. Because cannot know God, jadi an agnostic can be also an atheist. He or she can be atheistic. Alright. Jadi balik pada tadi, Tu dua tu, hafzu amanah sedu kuhadir. So if you talk to even the agnostic, the atheistic, they will still respect you. They don't people who don't believe in the scriptures, in the kitab, uh, in the angels, in life hereafter, akhirat. Yeah, they don't believe in the unseen, alam gaib, the unseen world. They don't believe in all that. Tapi tentang ini, oh yes, we respect you. Because you are ini begini macam macam orang orang kafir zaman Rasulullah SAW. Muhammad Al Amin beres. Kau percaya dia? Percaya. Al Amin kan betul lah percaya lah. Tapi dia juga kita kata dia juga adalah Nabi SAW. Nabi Nabi uh, 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 Rasulullah itu aku tak percaya. Nampak contradiction. Ya yeah? uh, itu masalah iman lah. Saya, saya dengar ceramah satu ceramah parti politik jadi penceramah ni ini baru berapa just a few nights ago is a non muslim chinese who can speak javanese boleh cakap jawa boleh ngomong chowo cina eh dia cakap saya dia kata saya masih belum islam kerana saya belum dapat hidayah dari Allah dia dia, dia chinese uh, non muslim eh? <coughs> tambah yang ketiga husnu khaliqah dua tu dah cukup dah dua tu dia automatik masih tiga tapi tak arsum salam stress on the third character trait or the third sifat 
yaitu husnul khaliqah. Ya. Kemudian komplit semua dengan aifatun fi ta'matin. Ya, masya-Allah. Right. All right, we are coming to the end, last five minutes. Uh, any questions? Hmm, tak ada orang dah eh, 4 gig ni. Simpan balik. Eh. Okay, boleh uh, uh, questions? 5 or 10 minutes, nak kita berhenti. Saya terima kasih lah. Eh. You all datang. Susah jauh-jauh. Yeah. What is a good character? Ya. Yeah. Apa dia good character? Husnul uh, Husnul Khuluq. Uh, Hasanul Khuluq. Ya. Yeah. Good character. Good character must in must include the first two. Wajib dua pertama ni. Habislah, cukuplah. Tapi ada lagi lah, courage, bravery, apa syujaah, contohnya, uh, uh, tatkhiyah, pengorbanan, contohnya, ya, um, ukhuwah, uh, brotherhood, ya, uh, ni good character lah, uh, akhlak yang yang baik mesti ada ni semua. Tapi pada asas kalau pada awal kali tauhid, bagi orang bukmin. A good character asal kita tauhid dia mesti ada tauhid yang ini dia uh, general deh general maknanya universal tapi kalau Islam tu basic mesti tauhid nah, tadi tadi pagi saya berforum uh, profesor jurnalis Udin dari Jakarta YRC University profesor Dato Arif Osman deputy dean dari kuliah Medicine UIA Kuantan saya dan uh, chat by our mentor our senior prof datuk mahmud mohammad no yeah. <coughs> he's the husband of the ex vice chancellor of ukm uh, tan sri uh, dr uh, tan sri datuk dr syarifah hafsah yeah. anyway we were talking about islamic medicine tadi macam nak nak link eh, islamic medicine dengan ini So I I say that um, uh, lately I don't like the dichotomy between um, uh, uh, dichotomy eh that oh dichotomy 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 means what separation, ah, separation. <laughs> dichotomy this I was tahu catat ni balik nanti terus google lah supaya faham kata kata pelajar universiti kan ha ah, isai salah penting ni kena kena tahu ya laju ku ya explain pada orang Ha. You balik, you adik kata, kakak, kakak, apa apa dikotomi, dikotomi? Kakak pun tak tahu lah. Kakak tahu anatomi. Ha, kan? Ha. Dikotomi kita tahu. Actually, dikotomi itu macam anatomi. What is anatomi? Anatomi. Tom. Tom means cut. Ha. Kan? Ha. So, die, cut into two. Macam skizofrenia. Ha, ini semua, semua ni etimologi lah ni. Ha. Schizophrenia from the word schism. Schism maknanya khilaf. Pertentangan. Pertentangan mana ada dua komponen. Schiz. Frenia. Frenia is a misnomer. Siapa dah yang belajar yang timi? Siapa yang second year? Uh, Madison? Takut kena ke soal. Ah, okay. uh, jadi, what is a friend? Where can you find, find the word friend? P-H-R-E-N. Which part of the anatomy? No friend in enough. Where is it? Where is friend in enough? Dekat diaphragm kan? Ha, it's a misnomer because dia naik kepala pula. Schizophrenia, mind. Ha, ini semua misnomer, misnomer yang kita kena mis... Ha, misnomer lah. Ini misnomer bukan nama orang. Bukan mis... Miss City Noma tak? Ha, misnomer. M-I-S-N-O-M-E-R. Ha, it's a misnomer. Saya tak sempat cerita semua lah kan? You see, in in my in my speech, I, I, especially to you all, budak-budak pandai-pandai ni, uh, saya lontarkan idea-idea and excite your your pemikiran so that you go back and read. Ya? Yeah? You go back and read. Today, many words here you do not know, now you know. Dichotomy lah, gnosis lah, agnostic lah, atheistic, atau lah atheistic. Um, apa? Schiz, schism. There is a schism among the scholars of Islam. There is a schism among the ulama of Islam. 
as regards <coughs> as regards what? Say, uh, regards apa? Give an example as regards apa? Yang ada khilaf lah. Banyak isu fiqah ke? Buku fiqah, mazhab syafi'i, maliki apa? Belakang tak khilaf. Ya? Yeah? As regards um, uh, uh, um, the the uh, finan- financial transaction for example in certain areas of life memang ada khilaf um, ataupun um, uh, uh, ataupun um, uh, in in um, um, in reducing the number of the rakaats of the prayers when we are on a journey ada uh, ada kata uh, kena macam Syafi'i kena berapa, berapa dua marhalah lah kan. Saya kata tak, keluar kampung dah boleh lah. Kita dah moving away, forward. Ha, nampak? This is schism. Khilaf. Yeah. Okay, itulah akhlak tu. Eh? Orang Islam tu basic nak kena tauhid. <coughs> Briefly, the the akhlak of the Muslim, basically, there must be tauhid. Number two, the 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 following Uh, the following, I, need, I use it consciously. Eh? The following of the sunnah of Rasulullah. And tadi tauhid akidah. The following of the sunnah of the Prophet Rasulullah, or the Messenger of Allah Rasulullah. Uh, itu basic. And then you tam- tam- uh, tambah ini tadi. Hmm. Okay, any question lagi? Kita berhenti at, uh, tadi kita started 9.10 tadi. Ah, 8.10. Kita berhenti 9.10 boleh? Tambah kan? Tadi pukul 9 lah. Ah. 9.5 or 9.10 kita berhenti. Okay, any questions? Ya, yeah, bagus. Apa ramai ni tak tunggu tanya. Ini, ini sikit ni. Hmm. Uh, how to train our hearts to do things sincerely? Yes, how to train our hearts to do things sincerely? Very important. How to be sincere in our hearts? Yes, excellent question. In life, I find that there are two extremely difficult characters of of good akhlaq, yeah? good morality. Two, it can be three, but I find two. One of them is ikhlas, al-ikhlas, sincerity. The, the other one is al-adalah. What is al-adalah? Justice. Ini amat susah, sukar. Amat sukar. Mam tadi kami, mam tadi kami, untuk tua ni, saya tertua sekali lah. Dalam, us- dalam usrah, kami, lah, usrah biasalah, bacaan, Quran, hadis, kemudian pengisian, kita baca <coughs> penulisan-penulisan yang sebagian dari terbiah then we came to subhanallah ayah number 10 number 10 surah mana ya subhanallah ha, saya boleh check balik lah ah, ah, al-hashar al-hashar cuba write, write down alif lam ha shin ra al-hashar kita baca lah dalam 20 ayat tu 30 ayat ada 20 ayat bagi-bagi kan tapi bila sampai number 10 number 10 it is one of my favorite ayat of the Quran nak, nak link to your sincerity tadi ya eh? and I look back number 10 ya yeah? kemudian I go to number I went to number 9 what was being read eh? I go to number 9 uh, in this two ayat balik you check lah pasal eh? ini tentang uh, Muhajirin and Ansar Ansar dan Mujahid Muhajirin And how kita doakan mereka yang telah pergi Sebelum kita Yang telah berjuang Itu dalam, eh. Tetapi di situ disebut Supaya jangan kita uh, Ada Dendam kesumat terhadap orang beriman yeah. Yeah. Baca, Saya baca That's why when you read the Quran When you are 26 years old When you read it again, the same ayat, when you are 36 years old, for example, it has got a slightly different meaning. Because you've got 10 years of experience in life. And then you read certain hadith, you, you get a different meaning, a deeper meaning. 
Now I'm 63 or 64, 66, 66. Yeah? Um, many meanings to become deeper, Alhamdulillah. Or I got to revise the meanings. Yeah? So this one is very, sungguh menusuk jiwa saya, and then I give a, a syarah around 10 to 15 minutes about the, these two ayat, 9 and 10. Kepada anak-anak usrah. Ini untuk tua lah, eh? lecturers, apa, university, apa semua lah. Uh, uh, ada yang um, macam-macam kerja ada ada yang lecturers ada yang yang uh, apa contractors businessman ada yang jadi uh, driver pun ada ya uh, PA lelaki uh, semualah ni so uh, saya tersentak malam tadi eh, tentang ayat 10 tu saya gostan ayat 9 so i i told my anak uh, usaha saya kata when we read ayat ke-10, don't forget ayat ke-9. Baru they complete. But now, I want to link this to your question. Sincerity. How to be sincere? First, our belief in Allah must be absolute. Mutlaq. Our belief in Allah. At times, shaitan will shake our belief. Belief, eh? bukan believe, belief. At times, shaitan will shake our belief. Or, shaitan will attempt to shake our belief. Cuba gegar, macam dia, kita gegar pokok rambutan kan, nak gugur kan. Eh? Dia, pasti, bila kita dah percaya, dia akan datang untuk gegar. We must find ways and means to strengthen our belief and to be always vigilant vigilant v i g i l a n t vigilant v g l a n t vigilant siap siaga and uh, we must not be oblivious to this fact kita tidak boleh alpa akan fakta ini bahawa syaitan akan kacau kita so that's basic number one. And it's worth uh, uh, investing the time and energy and maybe money to always find ways and means to strengthen your belief in Allah. Tengok YouTube yang berguna tentang Allah, tentang Tauhid. Beli buku ke, beli ini ke. Even as old as me, among the nice things I like to is to Review my 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 akidah, to revise, to reinforce, diperkukuhkan kembali. That's Allah. And then you must be clear. You must be very clear, hundred percent, that a Rasul, a Nabi, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is Muhammad, and Muhammad is a Rasul, a Nabi, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You must be clear, without a single doubt. Tanpa satu kesangsian pun. That's why you got to know, you got to study, you got to understand, you got to delve deep. You know, delve deep, delve deep. You got to kena menyelami sedang dalamnya sirah Nabawiyah. Banyak kontroversi itu orang sirah Nabawiyah. Example, example, um, um, berapa orang istri dia. For example, Aisyah. The controversy about the age of Aisyah bila dinikahi oleh Rasulullah SAW. Siapakah isteri yang ditentukan oleh Allah, dinikahkan oleh Allah pada Rasulullah SAW? Masa berperang. Kenapa dia pergi perang? Di khaybar apa berlaku? Di hunain apa berlaku? Ya? Dia hidup sebagai yatim piatu growing up can you imagine uh, ini saya punya style lah kalau saya saya imagine alhamdulillah saya suka baca saya kan imagine nabi Isa alaihi salam ya, bergerak di mana dia dia berdakwah nabi Isa banyak buku tentang nabi Isa tentang Jesus tentang bagaimana orang Yahudi benci orang Kristian orang Kristian benci orang Yahudi tentang nabi Isa ni 
Itu Nabi Salah. Tapi balik pada cerita Nabi Muhammad SAW. Kena 100% clear. You cannot be 90%. Kalau tak clear, kena bincang. Ya, kena bincang. Karena apa? Parts of his life tu ada yang controversial. Dan ini being uh, made full, being taken advantage of by the enemies of Islam. So that we doubt him. Yeah. Jadi, <coughs> when our basis is strong, akidah is strong. And as akidah strong, dia bukan tetap tau, dia boleh tenggelam timbul. Yeah, dia boleh turun naik, akidah. Iman ni turun naik, turun naik. Sebab tu isinya, kalba. Ya muqallabal qulub, sabit kalbi ala dinik. Wahai pembalik-balik kalbu, tetapkan kalbuku di atas jalan agamamu. Itu doa Nabi SAW. Nabi doa. Karena istilah kalb is from the word kalaba. He uh, bergejolak. Kalau orang Arab kata, like, like boiling water in a kettle. Yeah? Oh, tough. Life is tough. Tapi insyaAllah kita hadapi sama-sama lah. That's why we come to this session like this. Again, as old as me, I still say love, love, life is tough but oleh kerana ada pengalaman. Jadi, syaitan nak datang tu kita boleh, boleh sedar lah kan. Eh, hey, hey, kau dah kau tunggu situ. Uh, no way, no way. Tapi kerana tak sedar tu, tak sedar senang je. Dia kata, okey, atas kau suruh tunggu, aku tunggu. Kau tidur. Tidur terlepas tahajud. Tak semangat tahajud. No, padan muka kau. Aku lenakan kau, aku malaskan kau Tahajud ya? Terlepas tahajud Duha terlepas Aku sebokkan kau dekat Yusuf ZMS tu Kau lepas tahajud Minggu ni satu tahajud kau lepas Dua tahajud lepas di, di Yusuf ZMS Padahal apa sangat tempat ni kan eh? Bagi tepi corner mana sebanyak Duha dua rakaat, beres lah ha, Nampak Dan kita istighfar, bila kita basic gini Banyakkan istighfar In, in, in the heart eh? Boleh pakai tasbih Kulu kile kan Live to live Boleh Kita ada undang-undang Band orang pakai tasbih Tapi belajar istighfar dalam diri ha, tu Bila begitu kan Dia ikhlas tu Lebih mudah Dan banyak lagi steps But I'm just talking about The three or four steps Satu lagi takabur tadilah Bila kita tertakabur Kita terbesar diri Terbangga diri Istighfar cepat <coughs> Astaghfirullah Ya Allah Aku ni lemah And then don't give up Sengah waktu begitu Dia give up Dia give up Itu ha, yang saya tanda Aku tak keburkan kau Kau give up Oh seronok aku ni yeah. Alright I'll stop here InsyaAllah Dan again I thank you all for coming Jazakumullah khairan kathira And may Allah bless us uh, This session As uh, As one of those sessions That uh, uh, He Uh, bless us with and uh, may the barakah of this session be long lasting in our lives and inshallah we'll meet again uh, in the next session wa billahi tawfiq wa salam alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa